Hey everyone all, welcome back to Beer Crony Beer Reviews. My name's Chris and we're back with another beer review, of course. And in this evening's video, we're looking at a beer from Salt. We're looking at the Alpaca, which is a double hopped IPA, coming in at 6.6%. Says it's tropical and hazy. Uh, we'll soon find out, won't we, when we open the can. It's got the usual stuff on the back that you'd expect to see on a salt can, so you can do a little freeze frame on there if you want to read that. On the side, it's got a bit more information about alpaca. It says it's a soft, durable, luxurious and silky natural fibre harvested from the alpaca. And it does say that it's a double dry hopped IPA with upfront tropical flavours which are well balanced with a dry bitter finish and I do like a nice dry bitter finish so let's hope it lives up to that so yeah there she is the usual typical can you'd expect from salts so let's get in the glass let's not mess about it's been quite a hectic day so I've been quite looking forward to doing a beer review take my mind off things and have a beer so let's get her in the glass In fact, it's been a very hectic day, actually. Really busy day at work. So in she goes. Now, it's not all in the can, but nice hazy colour, very hazy appearance. Doesn't look particularly thick. Good two finger head on there, nice thick, dense, white, foamy head on the top. Lovely colour. Not super strong in colour, uh, but certainly hazy orangey coloured. Yeah, looks good. See how she smells, shall we? Oh, that's better. That's much better. When I say much better, that's comparing it to the last salt beer I had, which was the collaboration with Pomona Island. Uh, I wasn't overly keen on that. Uh, most salt beers I, I generally quite enjoy, but the collaboration ones I haven't, and this one is not a co collaboration. And so yeah, that smells much more what I'd expect from salt. Nice, good tropical flavours, the usual tropical flavours you'd expect from a double hopped IPA. Yeah, it just smells tropical, fruity, exa exactly what you'd expect. The usual sort of flavours, flavours, I keep saying flavours on aroma, don't I? The usual aromas you'd expect. The, the, the typical tropical flavours, the pineapples, grapefruits, mango etc so i'm not going to spend too long on that because it's just the normal type of smell you get from a, a double hopped ipa uh, so let's crack on you know it says it's tropical and it, it is that so let's crack on let's see how she tastes yeah that's good Just going to give that a moment to develop in my mouth. Oh, I'm not sure what the ingredients say on there, whether that's got lactose in it, but it's got a lactosey feel in the mouth. Uh, ingredients wise, doesn't say it has, but the ingredients, there isn't much on there. Uh, but yeah, it's got a bit of a lactose feel to it. It's certainly got that lactosey type feel that kind of covers your mouth and lines it. Nice level of carbonation going on in there. Yeah, good mouthfeel. Uh, it's got the typical tropical flavours. <laughs> it's just got the usual tropical flavours you'd expect. Uh, it's got the pineapple, it's got the mango, it's got the passion fruit. The only difference I'm picking up on this is leaning more towards a bit of sort of melon in there. Bit of a strawberry sort of sweetness to it which seems to be working quite well with the, the bitterness that you're getting on the back end the dryness that you're getting on the back end so yeah it's got a hint of strawberry um, which is unusual don't normally get hints of strawberry <coughs> oh god me there's the customary burp yeah that's really nice Really, really pleasant. I picked that one up in Sainsbury's. I think it was three pounds for the can. But a yeah, really, really nice mouthfeel. Really enjoying that mouthfeel. The way that's coating the mouth is really, really nice. And it, it, it oh, it's difficult, isn't it? Because it's just, it is another, another double dry, double hopped 
IPA with the, the usual tropical flavours at 6.6% ABV. But the difference with being with this one, it, it's got a bit, of, a bit of melon to it, which I don't always pick up in, in an IPA. Uh, but this one has got a bit of melon and a bit of strawberry sweetness, which actually does quite work does work quite well with the, the bitterness that you get on the back end. It, it does say on the can it, it's bitter, but it, it's not it's not a big bitterness on it. Uh, it's just there, just a little subtle bitterness on the back end. But the flavours across the mouth are really good. The you know the typical tropical flavours, the, the pineapples, the mangoes, the passion fruits, they're there as as normal that you'd expect. Um, nice thick sort of mouthfeel looks a little bit thick in the glass but this one's got the the added addition of sort of melon and a, a strawberry taste to it <coughs> so it's nice i do like it and i'm enjoying it just had a crap day so i'm not feeling as enthusiastic as i normally do and i say a crap day it's certainly been a busy day maybe i shouldn't do a review after a day like today but it's nice. The bitterness is built up a little bit on the back. It is nice. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd recommend it. It's a nice beer. It is a nice beer. And I'm enjoying it. As I said, I've just had a crap day. Um, which is definitely having an impact on how I'm reviewing. Uh, but it is a nice beer. Good tropical flavours. Lovely, lovely mouthfeel. Is it just another double hopped IPA? Yeah, there's a, there's a bit of that going on. But as I say, it has got a bit of melon and a bit of strawberry to it as well, which is making it pleasant. Uh, so, yeah, I'd recommend it. Um, if you're in Sainsbury's and you see one, I think it was three quid, uh, pick one up, have a go. It is a nice beer. I just don't think I'm in the best of moods to do a review this evening. Uh, but it is a nice beer. So that's me. That's my review done. Uh, comment, put a comment, tell me what you think. I don't mind either way. Uh, like and subscribe, etc., etc., the usual. And I'll do another beer review tomorrow, and hopefully, I'll be in a better mood and uh, might be a bit more enthusiastic about it. But there you go, that's my review of the Alpaca Double Hopped IPA. There's the can, there it is in the glass. That's me done. Have a wonderful evening or rest of the day, or whatever time of day you're watching it. Hope you're all well. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.